Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So I thought I'd do a Divine Feminine reading today. Um, hopefully get some uplifting messages from you all. See what we need to know. So we'll start with um, the Lantern Oracle. So we're going to look at where you're at, first of all. What do you need to know? What do you need to do? And anything else? Any advice? Okay, so where you're at, radical honesty, it says to believe in the facade is to suffocate in the armour of alienation, self-defeat and self-denial. Wow, so this is all about being true to yourself, isn't it, and taking that mask off not being in that place of denial any longer in your life. Where in your life do you feel you're going against your soul's wishes? It's the message I'm getting here. Quite a defensive energy as well for some of you. So needing to realise, you know, some things you've been through that have been lessons for your highest good. But yeah, letting down your shield. Let's just have a look at the message. Consider your reality as a mirror reflecting all of yourself back to you. See yourself through the eyes of compassion and love. Make it a priority to experience yourself in authentic connection with others and feel your world transform into the joyful fulfillment of all that you have been fighting for. Okay. So, quite a powerful one there. So the next one. What you need to know. Um, our intuition knows more than we do. That is so true, isn't it? So not listening to the ego, listening to how you feel within that inner voice, finding that balance and moderation between the head and heart. Yeah, seeing with the eyes within, because notice she's blindfolded. Wow. Okay, so what you need to do? Wow, we got repair. Here's you potentially and your twin flame reconciling. This is making amends rather than fun times reveals a relationship's true constitution. So some of you really want this. I feel um so again, those of you who, the message I'm getting here, those of you who think about your twin flame returning and you think, right, I'm going to have my shield up, not let them in, you know, listen to my ego, your soul says something different. Your soul says you can forgive and start again if you wish.
So the advice, beautiful, spirit self, be who you are as you are, which links to this honesty, doesn't it? Finding that light, listening to the light within, to your soul, healing the heart chakra, accepting yourself, acknowledging yourself, and where you're at. So yeah, a time for reflection for some of you. Let's see the message. Um, choose to express yourself authentically in an important area of your life. Choosing you in this situation is likely to bring fulfillment and initiate, ni initiate sorry, can't talk today, the beginning of you doing the same in other areas of your life. This card also signals a time of significant change, achievement and wonderment to come from living according to your light. True spirit self is the nourishing light that you seek. Yeah, so being authentic to yourself helps you find the way. Beautiful. Okay, so let's take now um, some of these empowering Divine Feminine Oracle cards. So we've got Teresa of Avila, Our Lady of the Interior Life. Wow. <laughs> I trust the answers I find within me. I know that the presence of love is real. Yeah, there we go. There's that going within again. Listening to that light within. Finding peace. Expressing yourself. Some of you are being guided to write, some of you are writers, or you're creative. This can also help you to get answers by doing this. We've got Dakini, the enlightened feminine. My gut instinct is wise beyond reason. I trust my intuition to guide me. Wow, and we've had that twice. Our intuition knows more than we do. So that's the guidance. Keep listening to how you feel within. Try to almost like detach from some people in the 3D, if you can, um, that aren't on your vibration, because that is what throws you off course a little bit, I feel. So again, we've got that light that we've got here, wow. Really powerful messages in this reading. We've got Amaterasu, the goddess of light, light again. <laughs> we are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light, yeah. Beautiful. So, not only can we find the answers within, but Sometimes people are our mirror, not only our twin flame, but also other people we meet, um, other divine feminines, for example. And this can also show us within, you know, what we need to work on and even help us find clarity. You know, like when you meet someone very inspiring, they have this light, this aura around them. And we've got Queen Esther, the morning star. My ego is in service of my soul and I trust my soul's divine timing. Yeah, there we go again with that being honest, 
releasing that mask which is the ego and trusting your soul and divine timing know, knowing that in the right time your destiny um, comes to you you know this divine path Wow, and the light again. So we've got a lot of enlightened Divine Feminines there. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, let's just take a bit of tarot. So Divine Feminines. Um, let's see any obstacles. So some, some of you, Divine Feminines, um, could be married in a commitment. Could have been for a long time. You could have a family. And your obstacle is closing that chapter. It's strongly coming through here. Um, with justice, you know, separation for some of you. Opening your heart. Um, to divine love we've also got here again amends so some of you are being guided to make amends with someone it doesn't have to be your dm it could be someone you know even a child someone you want to put things right with repair a relationship with justice as well, you know, strong message there of putting things right. And I'm also feeling though that those of you who are thinking of ending a relationship, could be a job, um, the guidance is to do it with love, you know, and try to make it peaceful, let's say. Be honest, which we got before. Okay, I'm also getting here, some of you are really thinking about your DM. So if you're not in a relationship, um, but the block is something you need to close like a chapter you need to close in your life and this is something karmic so yeah it could be that making amends as I said and it could be um, just finding your balance within so the way you think and behave for example getting some emotions here coming through so even purging could be that as well for some of you, purging. Okay, so anything else for the Divine Feminine? Wow. So that makes sense. Um, as I was saying about releasing something, could be addictions for some of you, but the message is also the codependency some of you have felt with the Divine Masculine, letting go of that, um, forgiving as well, that Page of Cups, but really trying to let go, not look anymore on their social media, not feel that attachment anymore. And that's when things shift. You know, when this union happens, communication, back and forth. We've got 11-11, so some of you are being guided here, if you're seeing this number, um, which actually is coming out again here, it's like 11-11 twice. <laughs> um, it's a code, you know, showing you union will happen at some point. But there are chapters here that need to be closed. 
And this is your Divine Masculine here, who's going through the end of a chapter in his life or her life. And this um, making amends and apology could be from your Divine Masculine here. Balancing things out. Wow. Pretty powerful stuff. Okay, Divine Feminines, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please do comment if it resonates. Sending peace, love and light to you on your journey. And I'll see you soon.